Hey good people, I am back on another trip right now at the hotel. I'm back in Oslo in Norway. I'm here for two, two reasons, mainly one reason. Very special day in two days, picking up a pretty important person on the airport, looking forward to that. If you've been seeing one of my previous videos, you may know who that is. Um, but I wanted to come to Oslo for a couple of days before that, just to do some work. You know, get some work inspiration, uh, meet some good people. And one of, the, one of the most important guys that I want to try to find is my brother. One of the guys I wanted to meet up with in uh, Oslo this weekend or these days was uh, go this way. That's my brother, and he's not so fortunate as me and my sister. Took the wrong path, but he's a fucking hero. I love him. Me, my brother, and my sister. We come from a shitty, fucked up childhood, basically. And my brother didn't really, uh, you know, he kind of fell in between. He was left to himself. But he ended up as a drug addict many years ago. Now he's living in Oslo, capital city, Norway. When it comes to spirituality and incarnation, what I've been explaining to a lot of people is that though it seems shitty and fucked up and all that, this is the life path that he chose. It's part of a plan, it's part of a grand plan. Damn, I'm cold in my face. When you understand your current incarnation and why things happen in this particular life, it gives life more meaning. Suddenly all the crap and all the scary stuff starts to uh, have a purpose and basically it transforms your whole life and everything from now on and into the future. So I've been looking around in the typical place that I know that I would find him tonight but I can't see him so I guess he's gone for today so I'll check back tomorrow and see if I can um, get to meet my brother
Oh my god. It's a new day in Oslo. Mm, Monday, new week, new work week. I was just down having breakfast. You know, I really like being on the go and just do my work and, you know, be able to, to create my own reality like that. It's pretty simple. Pack up my tools, get the essentials on my trips and uh, do some film work, tell my story, show examples, tell other people's stories, bring up the topic of body, mind and spirit and also find some other solutions for living your life outside of the norms. This one is full of what the fuck? It's full of stone. Aha! Uh -huh. Toothbrush. I usually don't share my toothbrush with anyone, uh, but this time I think I need to share it with my uh, with my Mac. I mean, she's worth it, right? Okay, so what I'm doing now is checking out one room, my single room, to so go down and check in a double room. Yes, a double room. You can just imagine. Ooh, fancy doors. Well, that's a slightly bigger room. Nice. This is probably not such a good idea, but I want to find some candle lights to use at the hotel room. Probably not allowed. Oh, I don't see. I'm just trying to make it romantic, you know. Oslo Central Station. Today's the day. Going to the airport. Going to the airport. Picking up someone. I'm meeting an alien. So, I'm here. So while we're waiting, we just want to hang out here and do some editing until the fun part begins. I got my uh, avocado smoothie, enjoying the juice. Love those guys, good food, good smoothies. So, the plane has landed. I wonder if she's happy to see me. Last plane trip was like, I felt like my insides were going inside out. I'm hungry too. It is Thursday. I've not been in Oslo for a few days. Me and Marbella took a trip out and I found my brother. He's sitting in the same spot as he usually does. I'll go and say hi.
finally we um, met my brother who is sitting down at his usual spot and uh, we got a good conversation. It was good to see him. He was pretty old, decent, old, in decent shape and um, we talked about typical things that I talked to him about. Sometimes he mentioned how people are, how the system are, and he just uh, talked to me about how hard it is to um, make his income every every time he's sitting down now. People are just not giving money anymore for some reason. There's a door in the wall, let's walk into it. Yes. Excuse me. I passed them. Can we have a pillow fight now? Sure. I only got a towel right here. <laughs> 